just for a little different flavor because you never know until you throw I know the wind's gonna blow because I'm making a catfish video either way we're gonna try a piece of white bass down the middle I don't know what to expect water temp 74 spawning temperatures these fish are here but are they busy three feet of water and I'm not going to fish no deeper than about 10 or 12 foot. I'm fishing in a river in Tennessee. I'm fishing in water. This water is very wet. White bass. Skipjack ain't been touched. You see them coming out of the water. We're shallow. I got a fish on this rod right here. I was just trying to get the boat back in control. Started to reel it in and he nailed it. On a skipjack head while I was trying to get the boat turned around. Yes, sir. Up until about last week, I was just getting males back shallow like this. So far, two females in a row. It's that time they do what they do. 
Now there's still some deep fish in sections of the river where the water temperatures are still down. I've got mid 70s water here. Fish will take the opportunity to spawn if it's close to them. That's what we got going on. We're fixing to go on and it's not even really May yet. What a lot of people don't know about the spawn is it doesn't happen all at the same time. It takes place over a couple months actually, depending on water temperatures. 70 degrees, blues are ready. 75, flatheads are ready. I'm sitting at 74 right here. Yeah. Normally I gotta slow the boat down to reel them in because I'm pulling point nine, but he turned and headed straight for me, so. That looks like a spawned out female. I'm not seeing no signs of eggs. He's just going to roll all the way in. That one there still got eggs, old fatty. All females today. Everything's in four to six foot of water so far. We haven't even, this is not a deep creek at all anywhere in it. I may jump to a couple others. We're doing pretty good in here.
sir. Another on the white bass head. I guess that's the heaviest one of the day. Female, fat, with mud all over it. A little better fish. Oh, still. Yes, sir. That's the deepest one we've caught in 10 foot. I mentioned in a last video about how these peg floats tear up. And uh, I have to keep moving the peg around. It just, these big fish just rip the sides out of them and get them all jacked up. They don't last very long. This peg float has lasted, oh, about five or six fish. And it got actually tore up pretty good on the first fish, so they work, they're just not very durable. We're in the second creek of the day, hasn't been as productive, 
water depths are the same. It's a little clearer water. It's about two degrees colder. All water is wet, but it ain't all the same temperature. He don't feel that big, but he smoked it, boy. Coming straight into it. <laughs> Little old fish smoked that thing. Onry old fish, man. Onry old fish. Alright y'all, this is just productive catfishing. When these water temps get up, man, cover it, cover some water. Just sitting in one spot all day throwing some baits out, I might catch a fish or two. But if you're doing this here, you'll probably get more than a few. One of my favorite things to do in the spring is to bump below these dams and we just haven't had no current. We're not getting no rain this year. Very low flow in the river. Kind of slowing the bite down a little bit this spring with the lack of flow, but I haven't been able to bump all spring. Either way, I caught catfish today and I caught these fish in the water. 